Well, hi, I'm Dave Jordan, and I'm an engineer producer, and I'm at my studio here, Seahorse, which is downtown LA, right down in the middle of the, near the Staples Center. What I do at home in my exercises on my uh, home system is, uh, I learned this from working with Brian Eno, you know, that the random stuff is the important stuff. Because anything that we come up with in our Western learning, Western culture, rows and columns, everybody is thinking in the same way. You're not doing anything specially different. So what I try to do is shake things up when I'm recording and try to come up with things that are different. And sometimes mistakes are something that can be built on that's important. Now I realize when you're making a record, you, you don't want to have a bunch of mistakes on it. But what I'm saying is look at something that is randomly created and then extrapolate on that and try to get something out of that. For instance, when I was doing uh, Jane's Addiction's second record, there was a mistake on the bass and it made like a boom. You know, he hit the, normally you clean that out. But we blew that up. We like put all kinds of compression on it and made it so it goes boom. You hear it in the middle of a song called Ben Caught Stealing. You know, that, that was a happy mistake. You know, I mean, a lot of my music has tons of that stuff. What I try to do is I record and then I keep everything, don't clean everything out, and then I take a look and listen to everything that I got on there. And is anything in there could be usable. The most important piece of advice I can give to anybody in the creative process is judge and trust your first instinct. Whatever you feel first initially is probably right. Because everybody that's going to see or hear your work is going, to, is going to have that same first impression that you did. Unless you have some kind of brain damage and you're totally different than everybody else. We're all pretty much wired the same. So our first instinct on everything is right. Our problem then when we get into the creative process is we tend to overthink things. You know, I always think of my, my creative process of like riding a wave, surfing. There's a process to catching a wave. You just can't let the wave catch you. you there's a thing where you, it's an actual feeling when you start feeling the wave start to come and you feel it, you know, catch your board. And then, then you get up and then you, then you get down and you try to get down in the tube on it and come down in front of the wave and, and follow just in front of the wave. And that's a whole feeling there that I, the process that I try to use in my uh, work is am I like catching that wave? Am I feeling something? Am I being propelled along? And what that is, is it's called a right brain activity. There's an actually thing called an alpha state that you're in when you do that. And the alpha state is a state that, that you're trying to achieve in meditation. I mean, the reason I talk about this so much is because I've done so much work on myself to try to get into that state when I work, just try to put myself there. And how I do it is by doing deep breathing. Uh, I do deep breathing exercises and I put myself into the state where, and I just go off in a corner. I don't tell anybody I'm doing it. I just start, I take some breaths and I try to get my mind clear and I try to come in here and just catch that wave, you know? I know what it's like to work for for around the clock in a studio. It's like pushing a rock up a hill trying to get something to happen. And I've learned through meditation and keeping my mind clear and, you know, staying away from drugs. You know, I mean, the, the obvious, getting enough sleep, you know, doing the obvious things you need to do that uh, my work is so much better and so much more effortless to do.